hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be starting a new pack and the pack is going to be called Engineer's Life 2. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, this is a 116.5 pack and this is going to be my first foray into playing it for seriousness for quite a while. I, I touched early on 16 when it came out, you know, in vanilla and played around with it a little bit, but I figure we're going to touch on something that should be reasonably, and I mean reasonably simple within, you know, my reasonings of how things go compared to some of the packs that we've played. It's mainly going to be a tech-based pack. There is uh, going to be a little bit of RPG base in it due to some of the mods that are around, as well as just kind of a general all start from the ground and work your way up in through some of the technologies that are available. It's heavily based around Oh, excuse me, immersive engineering, industrial foregoing. There are some things in here that we're going to be able to use, but it's basically going to be, I just want a chill pack that's going to allow me to just kind of build and do some silly stuff. So let's go ahead and do the normal, as we always do, and uh, we'll kind of see what we get when we go through all of this stuff. This pack takes a little bit of time to load up, so we're going to click the create world, and then I'm probably going to cut through this and let it go. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, we're going to let it kind of load in and do what it needs to do, but it uh, looks like we dropped into a savanna. Now, the first thing that this pack is going to do when you start it is it's going to drop you into a village. Every test world that I've tried so far has dropped me into a village, and I guess this is an interesting enough spot. I don't mind acacia, and I don't mind certain things, so... We'll take a look around real quick. We're going to have to be kind of careful, but let's just kind of talk about some of the stuff that this thing, this pack has. Again, it kind of has a progression that um, I would like to say is a kind of a start at a Stone Age period where you have to kind of start with nothing and they force you to do certain things. Like right now, I can't punch wood. I can't break these logs. I can't break any of this kind of stuff. If I break any of the grass or any of the weed around, I won't get it. The only things I can break at this point are the rocks laying on the ground and leaves. And if I can get a stick, which I think we do already have some sticks, I want to get a bunch of these little rocks right now since we can kind of just wander around. Mainly because we spawned into a savanna and the chances of us getting something that we need, otherwise like simple easy, is not relatively close. So let's get us some just simple stuff. And let's see, vein miner. Yes, we have vein miner. It's amazing. I love it. Let's grab all that stuff. There are so many different mods in this pack. There's so many different kinds of things. So what I want to kind of do really quickly is to be able to get a couple of the things that we need up and going right now so that we don't have to worry about them later. Now, we should have plenty of food, plenty of help at this point. I don't know what that is. That's a tiger eye, right? Marigold. Interesting. I don't know what that does. I picked it up. We'll put it back down. Cool. All right. Let's look around. We've got a few things. I can't I mean I can't even break these things. So that's kind of just the way things work. All right, uh, I want to see if there's a safe spot to stand for a minute that might accidentally have something we need. I do want to check in all of these little houses because uh, an easy cheater way of getting ahead here really quickly is to kind of get a thing. Okay, so we do have a blast furnace. Beautiful. And what else do we have? Anything really good? It's a kind of a janky looking village, but it's about normal for villages that are spawned like this. At least we have a bed and a place to sleep because they gave beds to everybody. Is there anything else? Okay, cool. So we do get a crafting table and there's a nice red bed in here. We're going to kind of claim this place as our own for right now. So one of the things that I'm going to say is this pack does not necessarily gate you behind specific technologies. It just wants you to kind of experience some of the stuff as it goes. So let's grab our quest book and do this. Let's get our quest book open and say hello there. Thank you very much to the Welcome to the Engineer's Life mod pack. This is your guide. So it's a guide, not necessarily a gate of how things are going to work. So we're going to go ahead and kick this one open. This is simply just to let you know that there are multiple ways uh, or multiple things as far as quests are concerned. We know that quests tend to lead on dead end quests or otherwise normal kinds of things. I'm going to leave this section alone for right now. We picked up a bunch of sticks for a reason. So leaves can be harvested without a tool for sticks. This is a vanilla feature, but it's very important. Here we need to get sticks. So we got sticks. We're going to get some XP and some more sticks. Gravel. 
gravel and or flint. Now it wants us to find gravel and gravel can be mined without a tool. Mining gives you to be able to way to acquire flint. Flint can also be gained by picking up the stones found on the ground throughout the world by holding a stone in both of your hands and holding a right click together. You should be able to nap them into something else. So let's split that in half and do this. Should be getting something, hopefully. All right. Did we get anything out of that? We got five flint. Amazing. Let's do this then. Get the rest of it. We may have to go get some gravel just to get this to end, but uh, we'll do that. Just kind of continue to clean these up. Come on. I need the flint. Oh my gosh, there's elephants up there. I wonder if they're friendly. They're probably not. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so we did get the flint. Now we need to be able to get some gravel. So let's just see if we can find some gravel. I know this is kind of one of those problems with some of these packs is they immediately want you to go hunting for something that sometimes is not very easy to find. And while we're walking by them, we'll pick these guys up because these are bushes that have edible fruits on them. Can I pick these up? Yes, let's just grab them all while we're at it. I did kind of start and play through about the first hour or so of what I would consider being the be initial beginning of this pack, just to kind of see if it was something that I'm going to be able to stand after, you know, we finished Compact Claustrophobia. There is a little bit of grind to this. There's going to be some grind to kind of packs like this, but as long as we have the ability to get a hold of various materials that we need. So like right now it wants me to get this stuff. So we're going to go ahead and just pick that up. Did I get it all? I got most of it. Okay, cool. That was a lot of gravel. Excellent. Let's grab some more sticks while we're at it. I just kind of want to make sure that we're not going to be bored to death playing some of these kinds of packs. Um, I would say on par, this is going to be kind of, you know, similar to at least levitated, except we're going to be out in the open world and we're going to be playing in 116. So I'm really kind of excited for that. Let's see. Where did we put? Was it this one? Was it this one right here? There's a watermelon. That's amazing. Okay, cool. Awesome. So we're going to get some food. All right. So we should be okay to do a few things. Now we're, we're going to do this the way they want us to do this. So we're going to do this part, which means I need to go find some kind of hard material to beat this against. Uh, ostriches. I wonder if they're friendly. Is that a rock? That's a rock. Okay. So we need to break these up into little bitty pieces so we can make some tools out of it so very cool flint shards let's i gotta quit clicking on that button this is open now we can use it all right so we got our gravel which gets our flint thank you very much the next thing we need to do again is to beat it against a hard thing and we'll get our flint pieces so close on this now we need to do a flint knife flint knife so that we can be able to collect some materials and i'm actually going to go ahead and make two of these just so we can get a bunch of stuff. And while I'm at it, I'm going to take a provided backpack and put it on and make sure that my key works. It does, good. So let's just put some of this in there. Red flint, very sharp cutting tools. Use, please. I don't know what that is. We'll have to play with it as we go. We'll put those away, we'll put that away. Keep the sticks out, we'll keep the food down. And this is some more food and we got plenty of flint shards. All right, the next step it's going to say is it's going to want us to cut up a bunch of grass to be able to collect things. So plant fiber. Plant fiber should be nothing more than this. That's one. I didn't scare you, did I? I don't know what these ostriches are going to do, but we're going to pick up everything we can get a hold of at this point. And that's also going to unlock a few things. That's an e emu. Emus. Okay, they're emus. That's cool. Are they eatable? Eatable emus? Are you mad at me? Boy, you guys drop eggs like crazy. What do you do with an emu egg? Probably the same thing you do with a chicken egg, right? Huh. Okay, cool. We'll have to play with those later on. Let's go into the house over here. We're already starving. Let's eat some food. Thank you. I'll have to raid all these little houses and get all the stuff. Uh, likely enough, we might be able to pick up some of these hay bales and actually make some food as well. But anyhow, that went down. We got us a little bit of plant fiber. So again, I've got to quit hitting the wrong button. Plant fibers, we need to use plant fiber to turn plant, plant fiber into plant strings. So we can tie us up some materials. 
to get us to where we need to go. So give me the claims on that. Flint Axe. Flint Axe. Flint Axe shouldn't be too terribly hard to make. We'll make it over here just so you can see. Is this, is this, is that, is good. All right, cool. Flint Axe. Yes. Awesome. Uh, let's see. The last thing is since we now have the capability of doing this, I think what we're going to do is it needs us to cut down a tree. So let's use this to cut down this tree. And then I think I'm going to try to plant this oak sapling so we have them. Thank you. Cool. Wonderful. Let's just toss all these down. Get them out of our lives. I don't mind acacia. I kind of like acacia, actually. It's a pretty neat looking, looking log in particular. The log itself looks good. The wood is kind of okay. It's not the greatest in the world, but it does work. Anyhow, we'll do that. They want us to uh, click the correct button. So we have our new axe, we have an apple, and we have, I don't know what those were. Blueberries, awesome, cool. Uh, next step, where are we? Close. What else did we open? Oh, we opened a bunch of stuff over here, didn't we? All right, make a crafting table. So how we get wood is we, or I should say wood planks, is we have to use the flint axe early on to be able to craft it into this part. And this is one of those points where you go, ouch, you know that hurts. This is automatable past that. So I'm not worried about this. I've already looked at it. I already know. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure nobody takes this bed. No, get out of it. It's mine. I will be fencing you guys out of this. I don't need something to come in here and eat you, even though I know you have guards. Come on. Thank you. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the only problem in, in 116 is villagers share and use beds. So we're going to have to kind of probably figure out a way around that. Either I'll have to fence them out of here or they're going to have to do something else. But for now, I'm not really worried about it. So the final end all be all is, is it wanted us to make a crafting table. So now we have a crafting table. Now we have two of them. That is very handy because we're going to need one anyway to carry it around. So... With that being said, this starts to kind of open up some of the fun stuff that is going to be in a pack like this. So it's kind of reminding me of something like SevTech or something like, you know, the earlier games on some of these mod packs. I'm not going to try to subjugate you guys to all of the accessible wandering through all of this stuff. There are some important points that we need to hit to, but as far as like all of this, there's some explanations as far as mods and things that are going on over here. Uh, the really interesting one, I guess we can go ahead and claim this so we can get to it, is that the pack has Project MMO in it, which is a mod that allows you to... Uh, level up abilities on your p character, on your players. So you can kind of play it like an RPG, which I thought was really kind of cool. It's like, hey, I can actually, you know, by, by running and jumping, you can watch my agility go up. Once I get it over a certain point, I can start to walk faster or run faster or jump higher. Excavation, if I dig, I can dig. The more I dig, the faster I'll dig or the better it'll get. Uh, farming, smithing, hunting, crafting, all those kinds of things. Stuff like this. Give me those hay bales. Hey, that's lunch for a while. Let's get on it. Uh, we will probably be using these guys to help us out over time so that they can continue to make us food and do stuff. But for now, I'm kind of concerned about whether or not this elephant doesn't like me. Oh, do you like... Do you like that? You like hay bales? You do like hay bales. Hey, that's kind of expensive and cool. Can I give you another one? Will you take another one? See, that's the fun part about this too, is there's all kinds of silly mobs and stuff in this, this pack that will allow you to do other kinds of neat things. There's grizzly bears, there's elephants, there's wolverines there's uh i forget what i saw in another one let's see we'll make sure we get that set up so we know where we're at it's all kinds of different things and a lot of them can be set up to do other uh just just general overall things you need to you know you can use them for so let's go ahead and make sure we get a little bit more food oh i didn't want to do that well i got us a whole bunch of seeds uh is my inventory now full of junk yes it is love it all right um, hmm, 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 hmm. we need to kind of keep doing a little bit here. The next thing it's going to want us to do is kind of progress a little bit. So here's where I'm going to say the little cheater is going to kind of come out of me as always, because there's always a cheater in me 
when I do certain things. We're going to make a chest really quickly so we can put this stuff down. And I'm going to put a lot of these seeds away and let's go look at some of this other things. I need to go put those blueberries back as well, or at least put them down. We already got a bunch of the food seeds that we need. There's farming, there's growing, there's all kinds of silly stuff in this pack that we can definitely fool around with. But the next thing I want to do is I want to just go ahead and circumvent all of the problem that exists with the tools, <laughs> the early tools, the flint tools. So again, this is standard me knowing that I can do certain things. We need 12 pieces of stone, or actually we could, as many as we can get at this point. And some more sticks, because we need some more sticks. As soon as you get a crafting table, or even early on once you get to that point, when you get a crafting table because of the fact you're in a village, you're going to get a bunch of crafting tables. Let's pick up as many stones as we possibly can so we can get to the next point. That's 17. I need a few more than that, but I think we'll just go ahead and do it. Come in here, craft these into cobblestone. Thank you. Into cobble, make a cobble pick. Get right on into some stone tools. So because what, why, why would I spend any more time playing around with that? So that has no durability. So we'll go ahead and we'll go dig up a little bit of stone from over here really, really, really quickly so we can make a few more things because this is some part on pieces of what we need to do later on down the line anyway. So that's just a little easier, a little faster, a little bit more durability, a little bit of stuff. Again, pack is not gating you on any kind of technology. If you know it's there, you can dig it up and use it. So I'm not feeling bad about this. So I'm going to grab a little bit of cobblestone while we're here. I know I can actually do something simple like this. Thank you. Excellent. I've got to remember I have vein miner. And then we can make us a suite of tools. So let's make a nice, decent stone axe, a nice, decent shovel. I know that I'm going to have to do the other things. It's perfectly fine. I guess we'll make another pickaxe because we just about broke that. And I will make a stone sword just for protection. Now, as long as we hang out in this village, we should be reasonably safe because they have guards that will defend it. So I guess, let's see, what time is it during the day and where are we on time? We're doing pretty good. Let's take a little bit of a look at something else. Let's kick open our quest book just so we can see what else we have. Chest made, I'll take your chests, I'll take the little piece of gold. There's some stuff I have not quite figured out exactly what it is yet, and we will figure it out as we go on down the road. Uh, click on the box again, nope, not that, wrong button, this button, there we go. Uh, let's see, we've got all that done, we've got a bed, I can actually probably convince it to give me that bed right now if I just break the bed, thank you, that'll give me that, so we're good to go there. That's just opening a few things up. It's also helping us unlock a little bit of our building skill. So I get a little bit of this and a cup of hot cocoa. Yum. Hot chocolate, whatever. Let's drop these two chests down so we have a little bit more storage. Very carefully. Oak acorns. Just put everything away you're not going to eat right now, including that. Um, okay, let's see what we got now. Click. Done. What are we at? We've got another thing. So I've like said, this is basically just to kind of get us started. And I don't want to kind of just run through all of these really, really, really quickly. I don't want to kind of mess around what I kind of want. I should I don't kind of want to mess around. I kind of want to make sure we just kind of do some things and stuff so that we can kind of get an idea of whether or not this is going to be something we want to play. So let's go ahead and clear out all of these seed quests that we got. Awesome. Wonderful. And I kind of just want to look at through some of these deals. So the first step is, you know, we have first steps. We have all of this wonderful stuff as far as farming is concerned, fishing, uh, even so much as we can make different style of hooks kind of stuff. Bee productivity, bee, pro bee cages, bees and whatnot. Of course, we, you know, 116 has bees in it. Uh, then we can get into a mod that I kind of messed with a little bit in series engineering which is tetra which i did not enjoy very much back then because it wasn't very good at that point supposedly in 116 is considerably better uh we will play around with it a little bit we also have pams which pams is going to have all of the wonderful types of food because of the simple fact we have spice of life 
So we're going to have to learn how to do that. Pack has a modified portal and or dimensional system where you are not going to go to, uh, you're not going to build a portal to go to the nether. You're not going to do things like that. You're going to actually have to dig down and find a rift in the underground to be able to go to the nether and then go through a silly little line of a, you know, kind of a quest line to be able to get through that. We have simple storage, which I have not fooled with in forever. So simple storage mod is over in this section over here. Of course, we get our metal chests as well as storage drawers. Thank God we're okay on that part. Wonderful. Becoming an engineer. The pack, as I said, is based around the majority of immersive engineering to include uh, petroleum and immersive tech. So we will be playing with a lot of the immersive engineering stuff as we go. This is going to be another one of those big kind of packs where we're going to build big factories, big things, big stuff, big fun stuff, which is part of the reason why I'm noticing that there's at least building gadgets. And thank God it's got something in it. Uh, transportation. Carts. Might actually try to use carts this time or do something with them. I mean, I know we have the ability to do carts and things and stuff, whether or not I actually want to make a ramp. Let's see. Click to do... Transports, another interesting mod. Let's see what else we have. I should not quit. I need to quit clicking the wrong button. Industry, we have industrial foregoing, which is another one of my favorite mods to play with. Uh, advanced storage, refined storage is in this pack to be able to allow us to be able to store stuff just like we usually do. And of course, which is rather interesting, it looks like it's either had a graphical rework or maybe they finally gotten to that point where they're doing things. Uh, extreme reactors is in this as far as being able to produce power and then of course we have an exchange okay that's where these go to all right i was wondering what those were for and along with statistics so again it's going to be kind of one of those just random questy packs that we're going to be doing a few things and we're going to no get out 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 why do you all got to come in here get out of my bed get out of my bed get out I love this. I'm going to have to move away as quickly as possible. It's going to be another one of those things that you got like five of them trying to fight with a bed right now, but that's perfectly fine. Thank you. We got the bed. Let me out. Thank you. All right. So uh, I probably should go check some of these other places and see how we're doing as far as things go. With all that being said, I think what we can do, we've already got speed one from all the amount of walking that we've been doing. What am I missing? What is open? Oh, I got an acacia blossom. Interesting. I don't know what you do with this. What does it do? Use. Uh, nothing. Can I put it down? Maybe I feed it to things? I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of different things we can do. So safari adventure, tame and non-tusked elephant. Oh, okay. Well, that will be something we can play with later on. There's even so much, again, as, as an entire little kind of menagerie of animals that you can play with and look at and talk to and try to tame and I don't blessings from this guy sunbird uh and you get re, you know quest rewards and all kinds of cool things and stuff like that for this kind of a pack as well so again I'm kind of looking forward to it I think the biggest problem I'm having right now is that I'm going to have to remember not to try to break things with my fists unless I'm okay to break it with my fists or point something at it because of the fact that I will lose whatever it is so what did I do with the rest of those bushes because I don't want to lose them. I want to put them down so that I know where they're at, at least right now. Because we're going to need to be able to make multiple types and flavors and styles and colors and shapes of food as we go along. It's a really nice sound. I like it. What did we get now? Spinach. Yummy. I mean... Oh, yeah, one of my other favorite mods is in this pack, and I should also remember that as well. So let's go inside one more time, and then we can kind of get this over with. I think we'll quit after this. Let's go ahead and do the last, the, the beginning little bit here is first steps. Uh, Tetra, yes, we know. We have Tetra. We'll take the torches. We have Serene Seasons. So, yes, we're back to playing with plants only being able to grow in the specific season that they can grow unless they're grown underneath a specific thing. Build Guide. We have something that's going to allow us to be able to help us build things very well. And, of course, we have some attempt at a vein miner 
program, a vein miner mod, which is one of those very necessary kinds of things in a pack like this early on. There are two mods in here that are going to change the way the nether and the end are going to be. This is Young's Better Portals, and this is where it's kind of cool. You need to navigate to and from the Adventure Deep Underground to find nether rifts, pockets of nether that have risen into the overworld and obtaining por uh, containing portal, portal, the ha pools you then jump into the portal and it will take you to the top of the nether there you'll need to be able to find all that's kind of fun stuff it's going to be interesting it's going to should provide for a little bit of fun young's strongholds the strongholds are going to be somewhat similar to the fact that it's going to change the way the generation for the stronghold is so that you'll even it'll be worth going to look for just to go wander around and look into so, you know, it's just one of those cool things. We do have a corpse mod, which is going to keep our stuff for us when we die. And my favorite of all time, Spice of Life. Every time I play it in this, any kind of pack with a Spice of Life, it is always such a fun time because it forces me to have to fabricate multiple styles of food. So this is going to be one of those, that's going to be one of those challenges as we go on forward. So I think probably what I'm going to try to do in between episodes, if this is something you guys want to continue to watch, do please, by all means, tell me in the comments below and hit thumbs up if you think it's something we're going to do. I am going to play this for a little while. I'm going to knock out a lot of the just rudimentary, unnecessary quests like all of these ones that are basically telling you how to play the pack. And we're not going to go past right here because once we get into... Once we get into this section down through here, this is when the pack actually starts doing some of the fun stuff. All of this is just it telling you how to do certain things or what to do with certain things. So I guess, guys, I think for now we'll make it short. We'll make it quick. We'll just get it over with. And if you guys want, like I said, to let me know whether or not this is something you want to watch, please, by all means, tell me. Otherwise, we'll uh, continue on, and I will see you guys hopefully in the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.